Dear friends, welcome to today's prayer session here on the Jesus Daily Prayers channel. My name is Michael, and I'm so glad you could join me today for this special time of uplifting prayer and biblical encouragement. The focus of our time together will be seeking God's divine favor and blessing in our lives. What a powerful and meaningful theme for prayer. God's favor is truly life-changing. When we live in the grace and blessing of our Heavenly Father, doors open, resources multiply, and our lives bear fruit for the glory of His kingdom. I believe this is going to be a transforming time together as we boldly approach the throne of grace, trusting God to shower His divine favor upon us. No matter what difficulties or challenges you may be facing, be encouraged that our God sees you, loves you, and wants to pour out His supernatural blessing into your life. You are so deeply valued and cherished by your Creator. As we spend this time in prayer, I want to challenge you to set aside any worries, anxieties, or distractions. Let's fix our eyes on Jesus and open our hearts to receive everything He has for us today. He tells us clearly in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that He knows the plans He has for us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, to give us a hope and a future. What an amazing promise. So let your faith arise today. Join me in eager expectation of God's divine favor and miraculous intervention. Together, through prayer and faith, let's release more of heaven's power into our lives and world. The best is yet to come. Now, let's begin our time together with prayer and worship. Gracious Father, we come before you today with hearts filled with praise and gratitude. Thank you for this precious time set apart to connect with you and seek your divine favor. We love you and we bless your holy name. Lord, we ask for your supernatural presence and power to surround each person listening today. Minister to their hearts, meet them right where they are, and reveal your unrelenting love for them. Remind them, Holy Spirit, that they are cherished sons and daughters of the Most High God. We acknowledge you today as our source of life, hope, and blessing. You hold our future in your hands, and you promise to lead us on the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Lord, today we boldly ask for divine favor and increase over every area of our lives, our relationships, our finances, our health, our families, and our faith. We ask for divine ideas, innovations, insights, and strategies that will advance your kingdom. Help us to walk in an overflow of wisdom, creativity, and vision to glorify you. God, we ask that you would open supernatural doors of opportunity according to your perfect timing and will. Connect us with divine alignments, appointments, and assignments. Guide our steps each and every day. We also ask that you would protect us and lead us away from any temptation, trap, or snare of the enemy. Help us walk in discernment and keep our eyes fixed on you. Safeguard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Thank you for the promise that as we dwell in your presence, divine favor surrounds us like a shield. We declare that over our lives right now. Surround us with your favor as with a shield, Lord. We choose to stay rooted and grounded in your word, which tells us so clearly of your heart for us. Please help any unbelief, doubt, or fear to melt away right now as we read this scripture together. Psalm 5 verse 12 says, Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. What an incredible promise we have in this verse. God blesses the righteous those who have been made righteous through faith in Christ. As his children washed clean by the blood of Jesus, we have the privilege of walking in divine favor every single day. I don't know about you, but I want to live under the Father's supernatural blessing and protection at all times. I want his divine favor to surround me 24-7 like a shield, cutting off every attack and opening doors of provision and breakthrough every step of the way. Let's personalize this verse together. Surely, Lord, you bless me. You surround me with your favor as with a shield. Say it out loud with me one more time. Surely, Lord, you bless me. You surround me with your favor as with a shield. Yes, this is our reality as children of God. The favor of the Lord is our inheritance. What a joy and privilege we have to live as favorites of the Most High King. When God's favor rests upon you, anything is possible. Declare today that it's your time to walk in the fullness of that divine favor and blessing. Expect to have supernatural wisdom, unusual miracles, and divine connections coming your way. You serve a God who wants to show himself strong on your behalf. With man, things seem impossible. But never forget, with God, all things are possible. There is no limit to what he can do. His favor knows no bounds. 
Open your heart and life fully to Him today. You were made for more. Let me encourage you, dear friend. According to Isaiah 40, even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. When we wait upon the Lord, seeking His face and dwelling in His awesome presence, we exchange our human strength for His unlimited divine power and favor. We can tap into a supernatural source that never runs dry, so wait on Him today. Allow His Spirit to strengthen you, encourage you, and breathe new life into you. Stay in step with the Holy Spirit each day. He will lead you into the fullness of God's destiny, favor, and blessing for your life. Don't settle for less than His best. Press into the more that He has for you. Let's continue to stir our faith through the power of God's Word. Psalm 84 verse 11 says, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does He withhold from those whose walk is blameless. My friend, our God is so generous. As our sun, He brings warmth, light, and growth into our lives. As our shield, He protects and defends us. As our benefactor, He lavishes us with favor and honor, and He deliberately withholds no good thing as we walk with Him wholeheartedly. Not one blessing is kept from His children. Hear this truth today. The Lord bestows favor upon you because you are the apple of His eye. He looks upon you with delight and joy. His face radiates with love and kindness towards you, His treasured child. Rest assured, the Lord does not withhold any good thing from His children. Even when you go through valleys or challenges, He promises to work all things together for your good when you love Him and follow His purposes. Brothers and sisters, when discouraging thoughts creep in, remember who your God is, a son, a shield, a giver of favor and honor. Declare these promises from Psalm 84 aloud. Let your words strengthen and build up your most holy faith. Our God is for us. He is on our side, and He delights in blessing His sons and daughters. My friend, our God is moving over your life. He is ordering your steps and aligning opportunities for His glory. Remain steadfast in hope. Do not lose heart or give up. Your breakthrough is on the way because of the favor and goodness of God operating in your life. I want to encourage you to make thanksgiving your daily lifestyle at all times and in every situation. Begin each morning by thanking God for the gift of a new day. Look for little blessings throughout your day that you can praise Him for. The sunshine, the flowers blooming, the smile of a stranger. As you focus on the goodness of God, your faith will grow and hope will rise in your heart. Let me challenge you to speak favor over your day when you wake up in the morning. Declare God's blessings over your life and your efforts. Announce that this is a day of divine alignment and you are expectant to see God's hand of favor opening doors today. Decree and declare the word of God boldly. Each morning, dot, 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 it will set the trajectory of your day. Our God is so creative and generous. He loves to bless us in unique, unexpected ways too. I believe some of you listening today are going to literally see the favor and blessing of God falling upon you with ideas, insights, and supernatural miracles. Stay awake and alert to His leading so you recognize His hand at work. As God moves mightily on your behalf, be obedient to do your part with diligence and excellence. Make sure you are being a good steward, walking in wisdom and integrity. Stay close to the Father's heart through prayer and studying the scriptures. Your blessing is not meant to terminate with you. Use all that God has given you to make a difference in your spheres of influence. When we live generously, it makes room for more of God's abundance in our lives. My friend, your Heavenly Father sees you, values you, and has great purpose for your life. If you ever feel disqualified or limited by your weaknesses, remember the truth that His grace and power is made perfect in weakness. God can use your story, just as you are, to radically impact lives. Do not despise small beginnings, declare Phil. 1 verse 6 over your life today. He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Keep pressing forward. I believe God is sharpening your discernment causing you to see people and situations through His eyes of compassion. You are called to release His hope everywhere you go. Share your testimony boldly and watch God use it to ignite fires of revival. Your life is so valuable and anointed. Walk forward in your divine purpose without fear. Greater things are still ahead. This is just the beginning. 
Father, as we come to a close today, we just want to thank you for pouring out your Spirit in this place. Thank you for empowering our time together through prayer, praise, and the declaration of your Word. You are so faithful. Lord, I pray that each listener feels encouraged, revived, and ignited with fresh hope and vision from our time together. Thank you for reminding us all of your lavish heart of love towards us and your desire to bless your children. We receive every promise spoken today and anchor our lives on the truth of your word. Holy Spirit, seal the words, scriptures, visions, and prophetic impressions released today. Burn them into our hearts and help us walk them out with diligence and courage. We praise you for divine alignment, acceleration, and breakthrough in the days ahead. Thank you for ordering our steps and orchestrating encounters with the right people and resources needed to fulfill our kingdom assignments. Lord, I declare that every door needed is opening at the right time. Every provision required is being released. Every person destined to come across our path will appear according to your divine timing. We thank you for the harvest, the miracles, the open doors of destiny. The best is truly yet to come. Father, help us to steward our time, gifts and resources well for your glory. Empower us to walk in greater wisdom, purity and integrity before you. Thank you for surrounding us with favor like a shield, preserving and protecting us. We declare divine strategies and ideas over our work, our ministry, and our families right now in Jesus' mighty name. Friends, our time together today has come to a close, but I want to encourage you to continue cultivating your relationship with the Lord through daily worship, prayer, and study of the scriptures. Seek Him first above all else, as you lean into His presence and His heart of love for you breakthrough will surely come. I want to invite you to share any comments, reflections, or prayer requests from our time together today. I always love hearing from you. Let's continue to build each other up in faith. Also, if you were encouraged and blessed by this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with others whom it may uplift. Together we can make a greater impact for the kingdom of God. Let's be faithful to sow seeds of hope, faith, and love wherever the Lord leads. Friends, we serve an amazing God who actively guides our days and imparts wisdom for every season. He opens doors no man can shut. He lifts us up, redeems every hardship, and works everything for our good. Even when we cannot trace His hand, we can always trust His heart towards us. What a faithful Father we serve. So go boldly into this day and every day ahead, surrounded by God's unlimited favor, grace, and blessing. You are empowered, equipped, and anointed to fulfill your destiny. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. I'm believing for supernatural breakthroughs and open doors of increase over your life. Declare every chain broken and every obstacle removed by the power of the cross. You were made for more. It's been a joy to pray and connect with you all today. I'm looking forward to our next prayer session together very soon. May God's peace and favor surround you powerfully in the days ahead. Amen and amen. Blessings to you.